I knew it all along! I never should have doubted my intuition. And now, I'm gonna do what I should have done in the first Umbreon, place! Don't be hasty. Let's listen to everything Bundleby has to say first, before we make any rash actions. Well, there's not much to say except that Hoopy here showed me the truth. Come on! I can't let a human like him walk around! And I agree. When I was alone with Hoopa this morning, he told me there was a very important secret that I needed to know. And he said he was the only one who could reveal it to me. I was very scared at first, when he opened up a portal and pushed me in. But now I understand why he did it. That portal he sent me through took me straight to some abandoned building Pikachu and Piplup snuck into today. And from behind the building, I could peer in through a tiny nook and completely hear their entire conversation. I heard all I needed when Pikachu said he could vaguely remember being human at some point. Don't deny it! This is true, isn't it? Let's not jump to conclusions. Pikachu, is he telling the truth? Uh, well, um... Hey, are we gonna get this guy or not? Is this true? Yes, it's true. <laughs> Hold on a minute! Pikachu hasn't done anything yet! Why are you attacking him? Isn't it obvious? He's a human! Humans ravaged my home! They killed my mother and father! But Pikachu didn't do that! Pikachu didn't do any of that! So I ask again, why are you doing this? I don't need a reason. All humans must be executed, and I am the executioner! It is my duty to extinguish the fire that is man! Dragonite! Both of you, get out of here while you still can! What? Just run! Pikachu, we have to get out of here! Oh no you don't, you traitorous clods! Piplup! Are you okay? Did she hurt you? Yeah, uh, I'll be fine. Come on, we have to go! Quick, the abandoned house! I... I think we're safe for now. Yeah. And for some reason, he's not even home. Caracosta! Oh, it's you two. What brings you guys here? I've been discovered, and we need a place to go. Discovered? You mean your human identity? Yes. Here, just follow this map, and you'll be good. Thanks. Where does it lead? It'll take you to a remote shelter near Denzel Square. It's some distance away, so you probably won't make it there overnight. Do you have enough supplies? I reckon you'll need some going somewhere this far. Other than the aqua crystal and basic guild supplies we got when we joined, not much. We just up and left. Here, it's not much, but you two should use it to buy some food and items for your journey. Thank you. Good luck, boys. I'm counting on you. Okay, we went pretty far from the village, and I didn't find anyone following us, so we should be able to rest peacefully tonight. Well, that's good. We should also check the map to see if we're going in the right direction. From what it shows, I think we're heading the right way. It's just that, what are these monster things right about here? You mean where that small area is? Yeah. It must mean a strong Pokemon's clan lives in Denzel Square. 
and they set up a facility there. Since it's not where we're going, it's best if we stay away from there, since we're not strong enough to handle that. Alright, seems fair. <sighs> this is the worst. We've been members of the guild for barely even a few days, but already we've incurred the wraths of everyone inside. Higuchu, why is this happening? It's because of me. What do you mean? If you hadn't met me, you wouldn't be in this mess. You wouldn't have lost your dream job and I wouldn't have ruined your life. But I never could have joined the guild had we never met. Maybe that would have been for the best. Hey, Pikachu? Are you... happy? Yes, I'm happy. Why do you keep asking me that? Because after everything that's happened so far, with Karakasa telling us that you might be able to change our future, you having amnesia and feeling clueless, the guild kicking us out because of your past, I'm starting to think that what you told me last night before we went to sleep was a lie. Piplup, I really want to know who I was before all of this. I still keep my word on that and I only lied to you so you wouldn't feel any sympathy towards me. But I don't know where to begin to look at. How am I supposed to find out who I was if the questions I'm seeking for leads to more questions instead of answers? Do you remember our promise when we met at Rivercliff's medical center? Yeah, I do. We made a promise that I would help you retrieve your memories back if you helped me join the Guild of Freedom together. You've helped me achieve that dream I've been chasing at. And now I'm gonna help you find your past. No matter how long it takes. Thanks. Hey, why did you want to join Guild for Freedom in the first place? I was inspired to help others a long time ago. Throughout my life I've always been weak and afraid to defend myself or to help others in need. I've always thought that being a hero would make me feel like a good Pokemon, in a way I've never seen myself in before. And from what I know, at the very least, Guild for Freedom was the only place where other Pokemon would do the same stuff I wanted to do. And that is to help or rescue others who are in danger. To explore places I've never been before. And to stop bad guys from causing havoc. And Bonobi mentioned that you tried to join the guild at least ten times. It's like I said when we met. They wouldn't let me in those first 10 times because I'm a little bit of a coward and pretty weak to win against anyone there. I got extremely lucky with Dendene though. But even after all of that, you never gave up on trying to join. Why is that? Because I feel like it's the right thing to do. I didn't want to join to not only be some friendly neighborhood hero along with everyone else, I wanted to join to also be able to overcome my weaknesses of being scared and useless to do things right. I was never alive during the time humans were nice to Pokemon, and my parents have been living in the wild throughout their whole lives. By the time I was born, the spiritual darkness thing Karakasta had talked about already took over humanity except for you and that other human in the story. You may have lied to me about being happy with your new self, but you were telling the truth about preventing the end of the world to take place. You may have the memories of what it feels like to lose everyone dear to you yet, but you still want to protect Pokemons from that horrible experience humanity felt back then. Remember, if you ever need help with more than getting your memories back, I'm always here to assist you. We're friends, after all, right? Piplup. Besides, I don't want to live in a world where we don't look out for each other. Not just the people that are close to us, but anybody who needs a helping hand. You've helped me get my dream job, and helped me grow as a Pokemon by fighting Dragonite with me during our first training. Now let me return the favor by helping you save our lives. Hippla, thank you. I'm really sorry for making you worry about me. It's alright. I would have felt the same if I was you. Now, I can't be sure about this, but do you think we should go to that clan's facility to see if the other human's there? If we're ever gonna stop that guy from killing us all, then we should. Then it's settled. We'll set out to this location first thing in the morning. Let's not only grow as a team together, but let's also become heroes together. Right. It's getting late. We should get some rest if we're gonna stop the other human. Couldn't agree more. <sighs> Good night, Pikachu. Good night.
Piplup, wake up, something's wrong. Piplup? Piplup! Who are you? No questions! The effects of my spores will render your body motionless any second now! What? I know today has been a rough one. And I know you all have a lot of pressing thoughts in your head. But please hear me out. What happened today was incredibly unusual and completely out of the ordinary. It was an event so strange you think it's fiction, but that wasn't the case. No, in fact, instead of critically analyzing the situation and trying to fully understand all sides of the argument, you guys jumped to the worst possible conclusion and chased our newest members, our friends, out of the guild. So, now that we've done it, we may as well assess the facts. Let's separate speculation from the truth and really work to understand what's going on. And first, we should start with Hoopa. What are you really doing here? Well, it would seem the cat's out of the bag. It would seem so. Dragonite, your highness. This was an easy setup. Quite simple, in fact. It amazed me. You see, there is a greater power at work here. And I was just a means to help usher in his new world order. Your friends, as you call them, particularly Pikachu, pose an enormous threat to my leader. So, per request, I was sent to take care of them. Who are you really? Me? I'm just a messenger. Don't shoot! Bunnelby. Huh? Let's go back to what you said earlier about Pikachu admitting his human identity. I want you to go into full detail. Uh, alright. I'll tell you everything that happened. Okay, but just sit still until Dragonite gets in here. Then we can discuss the terms and conditions of becoming a guild member. Hey, do you want to know a secret? A secret? What are you talking about? I think you want to know this secret. No, I don't think I care about your secret. Not even if it's about the new guild members? New guild members? Are you talking about Pikachu and Piplup? Bingo! What about them? How do you even know about them? How do you even know about this guild? I've never seen you before. Let's take care of the more important matter at hand. Do you know who your friends really are? More specifically, do you know the true identity of the one you call... Pikachu? What the heck are you talking about? Would you just get to the point? All this cryptic garbage is pissing me off! How about I just show you instead? Let me show you the truth. Without it, you and everyone else you hold dear could be in great danger. How are you going to show me? When I send you through my portal, I want you to wait exactly where you are for as long as it takes for them to get there. Wait until they come, and then all will be revealed. What the? Whoa! <laughs> what the heck? I'm in Rivercliff Village. That kid was no joke. What is this? An abandoned building? I think there is one of these by... Oh yeah! I recognize this place. Okay, all I've got to do is wait here and then the truth will be revealed? What does that mean? How long does he expect me to wait? Pikachu, doesn't this look shady to you? Yeah, so what? So, maybe we shouldn't... Shouldn't what? Go in? Yeah? No, we're fine. Look behind you. Hello there, kitties. Come on in. You're not a normal Pokemon, are you, boy? No, I'm not. I figured. You've got very human mannerisms, you're very observant, and you have a very expressive face. I could tell the whole time while I was reading this story your mind was somewhere else. Maybe in a far off place like the world of humans and Pokemon that used to exist. But how could I go someplace I can't remember? So it is true. You are the human from the legend. I, I wouldn't say that. I just... It's true. I can vaguely remember being a human at some point, but all the memories are fading away and it's getting hard to recall anything. The further you attach to your Pokemon body, the further you'll drift from your former self. It makes perfect sense. But I don't want to forget what it's like to be a human. I want to remember! Pikachu is a human this whole time. 
He was deceiving us? <laughs> Long time no see, Bottleby. What are you up to? At that point, I got caught up in a conversation with my friend. So when we were finished, I ran all the way back here. But Team Aquashock made it before me. And then the rest is history. Bunnelby. Huh? I've known you long enough to trust whatever decision you make. But at a time like this, when the bond between ourselves and a fellow guild member is at stake, I have to hold an objective stance like this. So, let's assume Pikachu really is a human under a Pokemon disguise. What then? Then we... Hunt him? Track him? Find him at any cost to account him for the war crimes he may or may not have committed? Umbreon, does him merely being human make him a criminal? Does it by default make him our enemy? Or can we be more reasonable than that? Out of haste, we drove two hardworking Pokemon away from their own home. Away from their own family. Because when a Pokemon joins the guild, they're more than just a member. They're family, and family sticks together. Pikachu's a human, so be it. Has he done anything to harm us? Has he done anything other than fight for the good? Do we have a reason to assault him and Piplup like we did so heinously earlier? But what if he betrays us? Then we stand together, like we always have. But no Pokemon or human in their right mind would dare challenge us alone. Mawile, I know you suffered greatly under humanity's influence. I know all of you have experienced varying degrees of anguish from terrible humans who by now have undoubtedly met their demise. But what happened in the past is not going to happen again. That's why we have this guild. That's why it was created. That's why we've all gathered here, together. We are the Crusaders of Justice, the leaders of peace. This is the guild for freedom. And if we reject a fellow brother in arms just because we are afraid, then we are nothing, nothing at all. Umbreon, I would no way ever advocate for a situation that would put you or any of our comrades in danger. But when I first met those two, when I first met Pikachu, I did feel a strange sort of aura. It wasn't hostile, however. It was more confused and lonely, kind of like you were when I first met you. Now, I'm going to go look for Pikachu and Piplup. You may follow me if any of you are so moved to do so. If you stay behind, I won't hold it against you. How did we get here? Huh? Wait, wh where are we? Honestly, I have no idea either. It's an open area. Jeez, looking at these buildings gives me nightmares from ten years ago. Piplop, there's someone there. Whoa! We should use the aura crystal to see if he's good or not. What the? No, no! I can't find the aura crystal Kara Costa gave us. What? what? Mm -hmm. Keep up, watch out! Ah! 